Hello, I'm Thomas Woodcock, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to catch a Pennsylvania trout. So to get started, first we're going to need a rod and reel, and you're going to have to have it spooled up with line, preferably four to eight pound test line. Once you've gotten it spooled up, mine's already spooled, you're going to have to run it through all the eyes of your rod, bringing it out the top, giving yourself some slack. After you've done that, we're going to get started. Before you get started, number one, you're going to have to find your fishing hole. Number two, you're going to need hooks, which I, re I recommend treble hooks, size 16 to 20, or if, if you don't have that, size 10 to size 12 regular shank hooks. You're also going to need split shots, they're your weights, and a jar of power bait. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is tie on your hook. If you don't know how to do that, you can look up a video on YouTube to find how to do it. I'm going to get ahead and start that. Alright, so now that you've got your hook tied on, we got it on here. I used a simple fisherman's knot, which is an improved clinch knot. There's videos for a tutorial on how to make that. Pliers and or hemostats are recommended for this step. The next step you want to get your split shots. These are your weights. To put on your split shots, you would like two or three, depending on how deep your stream is. This isn't very deep, but we have a nice sized hole here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to place them and bite them down, or you can use pliers, I'm just going to bite it, about six to 12 inches above. First one's on, now the second one, there they are. See now, we have our hook and the split shots placed about 6 to 12 inches above. Our next step is going to be baiting our hook up. It's getting real simple so far, not, not too complicated. We got our jar of power bait, we're catching stock trout today in this stream because it is stocked. They like power bait. You can also use spinners, worms, any bait. I recommend power bait. You're going to get a little bit of scoop of it. You want just enough to cover your hook. Put your top back on. And then you're going to take your hook and you're going to cover your hook, ensuring that no sides of it are being seen, that it's all power bait. You don't want too much now, but you don't want too little. We found a good spot out here. Uh, we're in a section of the Konica jig. Uh, it's a stock section. The easiest way to find out if, you're, if your waters have trout are by checking your state's stocking schedules or also to just look up if there are trout in the waters that you're fishing. To find the hole that we're going to be fishing in, you want to look for an area that's darker water, which dictates it being a little bit deeper. Or if you want to walk in, you can do that as well. Trout like to thrive in waters about 2 to 10 feet deep. However, they can be found anywhere as long as it's enough water for them to swim in. To start out with, we're going to make our cast. I have an open faced reel, but you can also use a closed face. We're going to make sure our, our hook is buried in the power bait. You want to form it into a ball. Get it all round. Make sure you can't see your hook. And then knowing where to, where to cast is a big part of this. Let's say our hole is right here where that tree is hanging down, which is where it is. We want to cast above it because once the, the water, the little bit of current catches it, it's going to pull it in right past where we want it. It's just going to flow down and through and where it's deep enough, it's going to stop. So let's get started. First, we're going to open our bale, and we're going to cast in above the hole, letting it drift. You want to close your bale, hold your line so you can feel for bumps. This is an easy way. Whenever you get a fish, you're going to feel it. It's going to take off. It's going to make a bunch of thumps. It's great. But you also want to make sure that you're not getting stuck on rocks. So if you feel a slight tug and it's not consistent, you're on the bottom. You just want to make a slight jerk up and then wait. 
once it gets in your desired spot, patience is key. Trout can be very finicky or they can be very aggressive. Fishing is about patience. We're gonna wait. I'll come back to you whenever we've gotten a fish. Fishing, how to catch a PA trout with Thomas. He's a big one, guys. You wanna keep it on tight? I got him! Yes, this is how to catch a PA trout with Thomas Woodcock. <laughs> All right, so I'm Thomas Woodcock, and this was how to catch a PA trout. Number one, first, we talked about how to set up our rod and reel. Second, we, I taught you how to cast into your spot. Third, you have to know where the deep spot is and try around. You want to walk up and down the stream. And fourth, if you follow my steps, you will catch a fish. Thank you. Have a great day. And that was Fishing for PA Trout with Thomas Woodcock.